160 companies participated, most of them uh, companies that are funded and have uh, a few workers or at least a few founders there. And so third place, second place, and then like, okay, okay, ha have I been misled all the time or am I going to win? Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, where, uh, uh, call next, uh, whoa! No. Colnect is a website for collectors of uh, mass-produced collectibles. Colnect, you say? Yes, when you collect and collect, you connect. Connect who? Collectors from around the world. Hmm. And uh, what Colnect allows them to do is to create a centralized wiki-like catalog and then allow other collectors to mark the items they have, the items they want, and so arrange trades, swaps, um, you know, sell, buy things using the information in this catalog. Um, Kolnik was the only Israeli company to make it to the finals. I think one of the reasons would be the video that I made. This nice collector sent me a swap list and I was checking on catalogs. It was so long, I made a mistake. Oh, that's because you don't call Neck. That would be for Gnector. So instead of just uh, having a boring kind of uh, presentation, you would have uh, Frig Nectar the Frog explain to you why Kolnik is such a wonderful site. Now, the thing is that the video was not, uh, didn't answer the common questions that you usually answer in presentations. What is the problem? What is your solution? How are you going to monetize this? So I thought, okay, if I'm not going to answer the common questions, they'll have to ask me in the four minutes. If I am going to answer the common questions, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to need to face questions that I may not be prepared for. <laughs> so, can you, can you make a small summary of the call next? Mm. Can I make a summary of Connect? Yeah, so, uh, Connect is uh, revolutionizing the way collectors collect their collectibles. Wow. Now, after I used all the keywords uh, there. So I said, okay, I'm going to make this cool movie that perhaps will make the jury not sleep during my presentation. Also, I think they were impressed of the fact that uh, a single founder made his way up and, and built a site and built a community and all this without pouring so much money. That's the difference. This is, this is an idea that started with scratch, started without any, any funding and is making it. Mass-produced collectible items are items that people collect and are not one of a kind, but there are many of a kind. So, for example, you have coins, you have stamps, you have phone cards, you have sugar bags, you have uh, plain barf bags or uh, vomit bags, if, to be nicer a bit. Some of these items are very known collectibles, such as stamps or coins, whereas others are more like niche markets that uh, not many people uh, collect them, not many people are aware that there are collectors of these items and there are no official catalogs of this item. Uh, currently, there are um, 4,200 members, registered members of the community. Um, many visitors come every day. People only register when they actually win, want to manage their personal collection. It goes back to my younger brother who started collecting phone cards and infected my father with this disease. Then my father started being a phone card collector. <laughs> אז אתה רואה מבן גוריון, אשכול, גולדה, בגין, רבין. עכשיו, וכאן ישנה היסטוריה, למשל קבוצות כדורגל. As a phone card collector you don't have many resources about phone cards. You're seeking things on the internet and you cannot find like good worthwhile catalogs. You have some printed catalogs usually focusing on some countries and then you find this website. So it's nice and it's relevant to your collection, so you come back to this a bit. And then you're, you're starting to bug the, the webmaster and tell him, hey, why don't you have the cards from this country? Why don't you have the cards from that country? And the first uh, thing I've changed is to ensure that all updates, everything that uh, happens on the catalog is done by the collectors, not by myself as the person responsible for the site, but by the users. So you're making catalogs now? <laughs> no, no, no. It's like Wikipedia works, you know. Huh? I volunteered to help out. Why? Because it already helped me and others. So you're the only sucker, right? <laughs> Actually, more than a hundred volunteers from around the world have helped out. Wow! So whereas on other sites, 
uh, that exist, you can update your own collection. On Connect, you have to update the main catalog. And that's the big difference, because you're making an update, and you have to keep it kind of objective, and you help the entire community. Connect is available in 35 languages. Disfruto mucho coleccionar con Connect. Oh, sí, Juan. Connect. Oh, what do you Connect, Connect. And on Connect, you have people from many countries, which may be defined as enemy countries, but people are not enemies. They are just people. They are just collecting their items and they're swapping uh, items and they exchange information and they learn about each other's countries and. You know, I'm not, not going to be of these uh, supermodels. You know, I'm going to make a better world and, uh, you know, save the puppies or whatever. But, but in a sense, you know, I'm, I'm creating a service that makes people happy. I, uh, I create a service that allows people from different countries to, to connect. The thing is that when you wish to get money, it kind of uh, takes out all your time. Even this competition now that I went to, this is something that takes out time from my main business, from my core business. The other downside of getting an investment is that it would kind of limit me. I would have to report to someone. I, would, I may become an employee of my own company. And this is something I have to stay as far off as possible.